Hey people, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Thanks for joining, liking, subscribing, and being part of the channel. Now today I want to do, I don't want to actually do, but I don't want to make these kind of videos. Um, I feel compelled that I need to do this. And um, here goes. Um, last night... Went to bed, typical uh, late hours of the night, 11, 12, midnight. Finally, kids were all asleep. And I usually put on some Bible, you know, just Bible, um, just Bible, Bible stuff or documentary stuff. I watch and, and I listen to it. It's more listenable stuff and um, recordings of things and turn off the screen and go to bed and man was it something now this is a prophecy dream video so you could click off it if you want it doesn't bother me it's okay I don't make we make prediction on this channel I looked for prof prophecy dreams on the channel and I don't really these are like videos right they're not really there's not much here it was a video we made September 27, new doomsday date 2021, six years ago. We made that because they keep moving the doomsday date every couple of years. So we just, I kind of made fun of it in a way. And, but, but, you know, we, we kind of dark winter ahead, a couple of things like that. But there was never, we make a lot of predictions. Like, like we were predicting a lot, like not predicting, but like, look, basic car insurance to, to skyrocket Canadian proper living in Vancouver. See bankruptcies jump 18%. This was like back in 2017, right? Um, stuff like this. We were, look, another major lie, hiding inflation, standard of living, cost of living. Uh, it's all an illusion. 27, like, we're making videos like this, right? Uh, just kind of talking about where things are going to be going into, in the future if we don't wise up. So, so this was, I don't know, it was, it was kind of like a game changer for me. And I'll tell you what, I'll just break it down for you. I, I got a picture here that I can show you guys just to make, so you guys can make a bit more sense of it than I can. Now, the Oregon coast. And I'm familiar with it. I've been up and down it many times. Uh, even when I was single, I would drive up and down it. Uh, just sit there and kind of go down through crevices down to the coast and throw some rocks in the ocean and just kind of be happy. And it's something I've done. I don't know, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five times I've done going up the one, the old one. And I like this area because it reminds me of the movie. You see that poster right there? The Goonies, because it was filmed there in the Astoria area. And it was a very interesting dream. I was basically a little bit further back in with the trees, a little bit more. I could see the coastline. I could see everything in its perfection. Oregon coastline, of course. I, I knew it was because I could feel I was there. I knew I was there. And this dream was very interesting because it was so vivid. It was so real. It was so hard to comprehend how our, you know, our minds have a tough time, you know, determining whether we're dreaming or it's real. Our minds don't like when you have that dream where you're walking down the stairs in your dream and your in your you, your foot slips in the dream and then in bed your foot slips in bed because your mind doesn't know the difference if you're dreaming or if it's real because sometimes the dreams are so convincing and this one was very convincing so I'm standing there back by the trees and all of a sudden there's this incredible amount of shaking I'm talking serious shaking I don't feel the shaking though. I see the shaking, which is weird. I don't feel it. I see it. I see all these birds start jumping out out of their areas, like all up, wherever they're nested. All these birds taken off. And then I notice something. And it's very awkward because I've never seen anything like this in my life. I started noticing the... Um, when the shaking happened, I just want to add something. I noticed like, like not leaves, but little pines and leaves and stuff falling off the trees too. I noticed that because it was so much of a shake. 
It was so, it was like beyond an earthquake. An earthquake is an earthquake. This is beyond an earthquake. And then I noticed something. And I, for some reason, I was almost told to focus on something. And I started noticing the water started to go back a lot. I'm talking about like a mile, two, three, until you couldn't see the water no more. And then I started paying attention to the stuff growing around some of these rocks. And then I started paying attention to a couple of fish jumping around, a couple of fish here, jumping, a couple of fish, just, just like this. It was kind of like, like it was so real. I could see them and I could see them struggling for water. And I could see crabs moving around and little things moving around and crayfish moving around trying to make sense of what's going on. And then this incredible wave. I'm not, I don't even know how to explain this to you guys. The wave must have been at least a mile, two, three miles high. Like the ones you see in Nazare, Portugal, but bigger. It was such a big wave. And I could see it coming. I could see it. It looked like a city skyline coming towards me. And I've never dreamed like this before. Like, I have dreams, whatever. They don't make any sense. This one made perfect sense to me. This one was, I don't know if it's a prophecy. I don't know if it's just, you're just dreaming. It's not going to happen. It's just whatever, Mike. This wave is coming like a wall. A wall. And it's big. And I can't see the ends of it either. I cannot see the ends of this wave. And it comes and it comes. And I could feel the mist. I couldn't feel the shaking, though, which was really weird. And I noticed that after when I woke up. But I could feel the mist hitting me of the water starting to come closer and closer. And then boom, it hits. And then I get washed over and I feel I'm in this darkness and this it's a really nice, beautiful, peaceful darkness. And boom, I wake up. I wake up and I was covered in sweat. I took the bed sheets this morning, piled them up, put them into the hamper, uh, the, the wash hamper, like to all of them. I just took them right off. My wife's like, I just washed those the other day. I'm like, yeah, you know. So my wife, ironically enough, wasn't sleeping with me that night because my daughter wasn't feeling well. So she was staying next to my daughter because my daughter kept asking her questions. So my daughter, my wife was there comforting her and fell asleep with her. So I was alone in the room and Man, this was beyond anything I've ever done. I've never made these dream prophecies. I'm not a prophet. I don't prophesize. We like to make predictions. They're going to pull the trigger on the pandemic. You know, we got the playbook. We're figuring things out. We got, like, the videos I was showing you. Like, oh, if people don't stop spending, they won't be able to pay it back. Uh, debt prisons are coming. Like, things like that. You know, dark winter's coming. These deep feelings, but not dreams. And I really didn't want to make this video. I really didn't feel like this is video worthy enough to make. But I, I just feel like it was so real. It was so intense. It was so vivid that my mind did not even know if it was real or not. That's how vivid it was. Usually you're in a dream. Sometimes I'm in a dream and I'm doing something. I'm like, yeah, Mike, hey, you're, you're dreaming here, Mike. You know this, right? This is just a dream, Mike. None of this is real. And you kind of comfort yourself through the dream and kind of want to go through it still to see how it, how it, how the outcome happens. This was different. This had an outcome and an ending. Usually you wake up halfway through your dream or you wake up halfway through something. But I really wanted to share this with you guys. I really don't make these. and I'm not going to intend to make any more of these videos. So you don't need to unsubscribe to me. I just wanted to let you guys know that this was something. And, and you know... After this dream around, I don't know, four or five in the morning, I spent a good hour going through the Oregon coastline to kind of find in photos where this was it to be exactly. I'm not joking. And then I begged, I begged not to have a dream like this anymore. I was praying the rosary up until like until the wee hours, until the sun started coming up. I was actually praying for me never to dream like this. I don't want none of this. I'll give up anything. I'll give up uh, I'll give up my car. I'll give up anything. Like I'll give up I'll, anything in my life just not to have this kind of dream again. Like literally. I'd give up whatever, you know, not to go through that again because it was that intense. And I just feel like crap this morning. I just spoke to Dr. Mysterio for a bit. 
But I just, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow night on Mike of the Night or Rebel. We'll talk then. Um, you guys have a good one. And uh, we'll talk later. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.